Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the final island tour of Sun Valley. My forest city core. This is my entrance area. Looking really cute. Oh, and here's my map. I didn't do a lot of terraforming on this island. This is the flattest island I've ever done. But it is my favorite island I ever done too. I had a whole lot of fun doing it and I think it turned out really cute. For the villagers I have Roswell, Marshall, Lolly, Murphy, Poppy, Shep, Deirdre, Bangle, Vivian, and Deli. Okay, we go to the right of my train track. You see my train. I think it looks really cute. And I did try covering up the cave a little bit with a palm tree. So you didn't see the weird passive grass because I can't push it back more. And I kept this bees very minimal. I've only decorated like two beaches on this island. And I didn't really worry about the rest of the beaches. So the rest of the beaches are pretty blank. But that's okay. And let's just walk on down this train track. And then we'll run into my house. My house is not decorated inside. So you'll be pretty disappointed, but let me show you. This is the most I decorated. Just kept the uh, three pieces of furniture you get for your little tent. And the rest of the rooms are completely empty. So, there's that. And this is the second beast I decorated. I didn't want to block this beast completely off, but it just wasn't really possible, so this was the best I did. I got a very minimal again, just with some flowers and stuff. And if you come up here, you can just look up and you can see a little lighthouse, so that's pretty cute. And you can go across this bridge. You'll see my museum and the beach in front of it. Completely empty. Put a storage shed here for convenience purposes. And I kept behind the museum very foresty and full of nature with a lot of shrubs and flowers. I did put a yacht here just for no reason whatsoever. And I also like putting butterflies and rabbits and ducks everywhere. So feel free to count and let me know how many there are on this island. Okay, and let's go to the left, I mean the right. Sorry, I can't tell my left from the right sometimes. And if you ever want to throw something away on my island, I just duck this trash can here. And there's Poppy walking around being adorable. And I like that I put this volcano here. I think it's a really nice touch. And right here I put the little fishing lake. You could... You can't really walk through here much, but you could access a little part of the lake at least. And I like adding the little stumps random places. I think it's a very nice touch. And in this area, since this area has a leg and my campsite is a little bit up more. I like putting the socks places so people like people lost the socks when they visited. And I got this nice little bench where you could just sit down and relax and 
front of the bonfire back there. And right here, if you want a cookie, the place to go. Right here is my campsite. I didn't feel like putting a, anyone in the campsite for the tent. So the tent's going to be empty, but that's alright. I just like doing, putting a bunch of crops on this island. So you can see a bunch of crops. That's not in a farm, but that makes it look cute. And if you keep going over this bridge, you'll run to my resident services. This is where you wake up if you dream of this island. And here's my flag. I did not make this flag. I just searched up my island name. And someone had already made a flag for it, so... I used it. And I left you some gifts. This is just clothing for it if you want to fit in a little bit more. And this bridge right here just leads back to my entrance. And this is the little area right here that I did in my last build. Let go up the incline later. Right now, just walk past it. And we could go over this bridge. This is my favorite area right here that I've done on this island. It's a small area, but I like that I have three ducks crossing the road and this car right here about to drive past. And we are at my neighborhood. I did not use Happy Home Paradise on this island. So all my villager houses are as they uh, always been. But I think the houses fit in pretty nicely. There's a few odd ones here like Vivian's. I think it all worked out. And right here is this little place for my car. Thing looks cute. I could go up here. This is my able sisters. Okay, and if we keep going down. We'll be right back at my campsite and lake area. So let's make our way back to my incline. And right up here is a little forest view of this overpass. And Lolly's enjoying the view with me. And there's an incline down. We'll go down that in a second. Right here is my little uh, drive in movie theater. This is where I use some reds. This is the only place on the island where I use red flowers. The rest is green, white, and yellow. And ignore me just accidentally kicking out my cups and design. I'll fix that real quick. And here's my next cranny and Abel sisters down there. So I'm gonna go down this incline and we'll go back to my we'll go into my forest. I put this little sword here because I thought it would be a cute reference to sword in the stone even though it's not in a stone it's in the ground but you get the picture and right over here it leads you back to my neighborhood 
Then we can go back around the sword. And I have a pipe here. At least it's somewhat else from my island. You can still access the place that this leads. It's just a shortcut. And we can just walk on through. And I have this bridge just for aesthetics. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. Okay, and I believe that wraps up my island tour. I know my island tour is not very long. Since my island is already pretty flat. And it has pretty straight roads for the most part. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Press that bell notification to get notified every time I post. Until next time, bye!